five ban of open grazing by Governor Akiro Dolu, cows take over major streets in all those states. And Nigerians can't they talk left and right, you know, center. All this matter when we just they talk, go here, go here, it's not going to help. You get, you don't just say word. When you say word, match it with actions. And this is what, you know, has been killing this country. Our leaders, they go come talk. This, 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 this. Just talk because they want to talk. And they, they don't take action. This is the problem. Fulani has so much confidence in Nigeria because other regions gave them the opportunity. You get. And honestly, I don't blame them because they are the pampered children, even right from the colonial area. If they bring out a step, <laughs> they will watch and listen whether other regions will complain or fight. And if nothing happens, hey, they will bring out the second step. If nothing happens, they bring out the uh, uh, ends, then the whole body. Now, the whole body is how to go. It will take you extra miles to make them take them back. Therefore, if Governor Akira Delo likes, let him speak all the whole grammar he read in his school. But it has law. But put it as law and campaign it all he can and refuses to do the needful. <laughs> He is only playing around and wasting his time. These people, they not send you. They just, they do their own thing. Government self, no go feed do anything. Because they know waiting day. You get. So all these shots, when people just, they shout, they talk, they talk, you see. They still, they do waiting day their mind. They have to take action. And another thing is, it gets some of them when we see the day bush, they know they listen to radio, they don't know it, then they talk. The governor have to walk through their presidents, they have to let these people know what is on ground. Yeah, because <laughs> this can be funny that uh, most of them don't even know what they are talking about, they just they carry the cow, they go, they waka. You get. So there are a lot of work to do here. Not just to talk. Oh, we need action in this matter. If not, Fulani headers, they are ready to take their cow to come and graze in your parlor. And you have nothing to do about it. Because if you talk, AK-47 is on their way. Anyway, guys, let's get straight to the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for stopping by. Now the news reads in detail. Despite ban on open grazing by Governor Akiro Dolu, cows take over major streets in Ondo State. Commuters and residents in Akure Ondo State have reported an increase in disputive encounters with S men and cattle grazing along his major roads, despite Governor Rotimi Akiro Dulu's order banning open grazing in the state. Some res residents told Sahara reporters that some cows on Monday blocked a road in Ayedom in a popular street in the state capital, disputing uh, vehicles' movement for many minutes. It was gathered that motorists were forced to stop their vehicles to pave the way for the cows moving freely on the road. Cows were also sighted moving freely along Ali Road and in front of NNPC Mega Station along Ilesha Uho Express. Akira Dolu in January banned movement of cattle within the states, cities, and highways, underage grazing and night grazing. Weeks after, governors of the South West states in a meeting in, in Akure banned open grazing of cattle in the region. Today, the Southwest governors had 
a security stakeholders meeting in Ondo State, and the meeting was attended by our brother governors from KB and uh, Chigawa State Security Chiefs, Southwest Zone led by the AIG Zone 2, and leaders from the Mieti Hala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Sei Makinde, Governor of Oyo State, said. Correct, collectively, we resolved to ban open grazing or party of the Southwest in Oyo State. We already have a law against open grazing, which will continue to be implemented by our security agencies. In February, the State Executive Council approved the bill to formally ban open grazing and forwarded it to the State House of Assembly. <laughs> It is the duty of the governor to make law and order, but it is the duty of the law enforcement agency to enforce the law, but they are not ready. It is now left for the local enforcement agencies to do the needful. <laughs> All that rubbish laws are against fundamental rights, which if hypocrisy is in action, human rights should, be, should have provide protect against it. Don't forget those guys are living in the bush, no access to social media to know what goes on in the state. They may not have been informed properly, so Southwest still have work to do. These are Nigerians uh, reacting. Show of ignorance telling the governor he is not in charge and they can do whatever. They deem fit, forgetting that no one has the monopoly of violence. I beg, make Niger divide, make everybody waka in own the gun. It is necessary for them to uh, sanitize those ones in the bush. Truly, maybe they don't really know what is actually happen, happening. Who knows? So, hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much once again. Bye for now.